Today in Schoology, we're going to look at how the students would use the iOS app. First things first, they will need to log in to their Schoology account. In the text field, you'll notice I have a school name there, but if your school name does not appear, you can click into that space and type your school's name in. And as you begin to type, you'll notice that more schools become listed just below that. When you find your school, click on it, and then it's going to take you to your username or email and your password login. Once I get logged in, I see my course dashboard. From here, a quick navigation tip, down at the bottom of your screen, you'll notice there is a little clock icon. When I click on that, that will take me to my recent activity. This is where many of the updates that teachers have posted for the classes will appear. As I continue to the right, I can click back onto that center icon and that takes me to my course dashboard. And then the last icon, the calendar, this will take me to where all of my assignments or activities that have been given due dates will appear, as well as any events that teachers have scheduled. I'm gonna click back over to my dashboard and from here, I'm going to open up one of my courses. I'm gonna click on my middle school course here once in my course, you'll notice that everything is organized by folders. I'm going to click on this very first folder, and from here you can see, just below the folder, all of the different items that have been added within that folder. The very first looks like a post-it note with a blue square in the corner. That is a Schoology page. When I click on that page, the material appears larger. This has text on it for me to read. It also has a video that I can click and watch here in this space. If I click the back arrow, it takes me back into my course materials where I can then access the next items within that folder. The second item has a pencil icon next to it. This is an assignment. I'm going to open that assignment and you'll notice here there are some directions that are on my page. There is also hyperlink text that will take me to a website I can utilize. And I have a video to help me with tutorials on how to use the website. When I'm ready to submit my assignment, I can click on the Submissions tab at the top. From here, I can click on the plus symbol at the very top of my page, and this will reveal a list of different ways that I can submit my assignment. I can create a submission. This will allow me to type in my text here and put in all of my assignment just in typed text. I can save the draft or I can click on the check mark to submit. If I click the X and I press the plus symbol again, I can also submit a photo or a video. I can submit items from my resources. I can record audio. To record audio, it is as simple as pressing the record button. It will begin to record my voice when I'm done, I'll press the stop button. I can go back and listen to what I've recorded or at the very bottom of my page, I can delete and start over. Then I can re-record and then submit that recording to my teacher. My last option down here is to submit a document from one of the other iOS apps within my phone. I'm going to select that option and I just want to show you if you have put your Google Drive app or your OneDrive app on your phone and you have been able to work on a document in one of those two drives, I can select this browse option and I am able to go into my Google Drive and grab a document from that location and attach it to submit it within my Schoology app. In order to do this, any app that you would create some kind of document in would have to be on your phone so that way you could grab it and submit it into Schoology. My next assignment, the closed reading activity, this has an assignment that has been linked to it through Google Drive. You'll notice it looks a little different than the last activity. Here, I have the assignment directions on one tab, and then just to the right of the assignment directions, you'll notice there is a My Document option. When I click on My Document, it shows my name, it gives me a submit assignment button, and then just below that, my document appears. In order to work on the document, I will click on it, and it will ask me if I want to open that document in my app. 
Remember, you have to have the app on your phone in order to be able to work on it. So from here, I can now come in and I can start working in my app. I can make edits and changes, and then when I'm done, I can go back over to Schoology and I can submit my app. It's going to give me a notification just reminding me I'm going to be submitting and am I ready to submit. When I click Yes, Submit, it will submit my document for me and then I can be finished. The next material under my folder here is a discussion post. It has the two speech bubbles to the left. I'm going to click on that discussion. Here I have my information for that discussion, my directions, and anything that I need to consider when posting. When I'm ready to post, I would select the discussion tab at the top. And now I can see one student has already posted once. If I'm ready to post, I can select the plus button. And from here, I can start typing in my response. I can also select the attach button. And from here, I'm able to choose images or videos from my library. I can take a photo or a video. I can attach resources from my own student resources. I can record audio or select items from my other iOS apps on my phone. If I were to take a photo or a video, I choose the media quality and then I can take my picture and I can upload it. When I'm done, you'll notice up by the attach button, there is a one that shows I have attached one item. I can select the check mark and it will upload my media and my post to the discussion forum. When I go back, the last item under my Unit 1 folder is an Early American Explorers Project media album. When I'm ready to upload an image to share with my peers, I can click that plus symbol and it will allow me to choose from libraries or from iOS apps. So if I have created an image in another app on my phone, I can actually go in and grab it if I've saved it as an image. And from here, I can add a caption to my image. I can also choose another image if I would like to, or take another photo or image with my phone, and I can upload multiple images or videos at one time. When I'm done, I want to select the check mark. My media will be uploaded, and my image will appear in the media album. Now that we've looked at how to upload different assignments, and we've looked at different ways to access these different materials within Schoology from the student perspective, let's take a tour of the rest of the app. I'm going to click back out of this course. Just above my course dashboard, there are three lines. When I click on those three lines, I get a menu down the left-hand side of my page. Here, I'm able to access my messages, notifications, requests, I can also go back to my home page where my course dashboard is located. I can select courses from here. I can grab any of my courses and jump into those from this location. I can also add or join another course. When I click back, I can then go to my groups and from here I can join groups. I can view my grades for any of my courses. I can view the calendar for any of my events or upcoming due dates for assignments that I have. I can view people in all of my courses. I can change my account settings. I can also access the Help Center. And last but not least, I can log out.